kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, okay. Now, as far as being uh, a hand dial, it depends. You you want to use a separate number other than your number. So you get a Google Voice number or whatever the case may be. Okay. Okay. It's going. You're. It's going to take you a long time to go through leads. I'm going to let you know that right up front. Okay. Okay. Right. So, usually when I recommend for people to get a dialer, it, the reason why is because it, you get through the leads faster. Okay. Um, you get through the the voicemails, the the no answers, things like that. So there are a few out there. There's Mojo Dialer. Okay. Okay. There is Smart Dialer. All right. So, and then, so those are the ones you, that are out there. And then there's one that I use, which is Call Tools. Call Tool? Yep, Call Tools. All right. I use that because it also acts it can act as a crm as well as a dialer nice okay okay, okay. so uh, but i have my workflow where i use a podio a podio account as a crm as well so i put my entire list in, in call tools and then anybody who says yes or yes they're interested then that those leads get pushed over to my Podio account and that's what I follow up on. Okay. Okay. Um, so okay. think about your workflow. Again, you don't, this is not something you have to do right now. Okay. Just starting out, you can hand dial. Just starting out, you can do Mojo Dialer. You can do any one of these st starting out. Okay. Any right. one of them. Okay. Um, Mojo Dialer, Smart uh, Call Tools, Smart Dialer, they're all good. Okay. It really just depends on what you feel comfortable with. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm just going to be honest with it. I, I've used smart dialer before. I know Mojo dialer works. It's very popular. Um, but I haven't used it. It was the same thing as smart dialer. Um, and I currently use call tools. Okay. 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 I like that. So. The call tool has a CRM, which is nice too. It does. Now, Mojo Dialer might have that as well. So again, I'm going to implore you to do your research on that. Yes. Okay. Yes. All okay. right. So because I haven't used that. And with Smart Dialer, I used it in conjunction with a Podio account where my Podio was my dial was my CRM. So, okay. um, you know, again, figure out what works for you and for your system. My recommendation is start hand dialing first. See, make your mistakes. Okay. Then use a whiteboard like this and draw out the flow. What I mean by that is how you make the call, what you, when, when somebody says yes, okay. Where does it go? When somebody says no, where does it go? And when they say yes, now it goes somewhere. And then how, how often do you follow up and, and create the systems for that? Okay. Right. So how are you going from putting your list in or getting your list, skip tracing, so on and so forth. I know I'm going through a lot, especially for a beginner, but I'm trying to pack as much in into right now as possible. You be okay. very helpful. Everything you're okay. saying is helpful. Awesome. So with that being said, 
you know, like for instance, I use call tools. I'm not pushing you or anybody else to use that. My recommendation is start hand dialing, get a small, start off with a driving for dollars list and start hand dialing. Okay. All right. Okay. Those will be the best list that you'll get. You'll also have the least amount. So hand dialing will be, will, will be good for you. Okay. okay. And, and with a separate number, then with I a separate number, customers. whether it be Google voice or something else. Okay. Okay. So keep that in mind because okay. do I would do it over like a voice over IP. Okay. Like Google voice, you can log into a Google voice on your computer. And now you, from your Excel spreadsheet, you can copy and paste the number. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. So right. that's still hand dialing because you're going one number at a time. Okay. Right. But now you're doing everything over the computer. You put a headset on like this. Okay. Okay. So, or your iPad, your iPods, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and, and you're talking over the phone that way. Okay. And on the computer. On a computer. Yeah. I yeah. never heard of that. Just like we're doing right now. Love and it. what yeah. I usually do is I I have a stand up desk, okay? Yeah. I have a stand I have a stand up desk, and what I do is is I don't sit down. I stand up. I walk around. I pace around. I, I do whatever I can, and I keep active. What that does is that keeps if if, if I'm down slouched like this and I'm just sitting in a chair. You yeah. hear it in my voice, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. If I'm yeah. up like this, just walking yeah. around, hey, how's it going? Yeah, great day today. All right. Yeah, the yeah, energy. yeah. Yes, the yes, energy. yes, yes. And people will All pick right. up on that. Yes, they do. Okay. All right. So, but the thing is, is this. One thing I recommend you do. Okay. So, you got this, right? Uh, 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 yes, entirely. Yes, okay. I have that. So, I've have written okay. down. Got it. All right. Step one is getting information. Okay. When you're on a call, somebody says yes or whatever. All right. Do you have a Do you have a script that you follow? So you're in the program, the Astro Flipping program, right? And they have one. Yes. Correct. Yes. So they have a script. Okay. And TTP I rec has one too. Yes. 100% decide I would recommend you you follow the TTP script. Okay. okay. All right. So 100%. I also use Steve Trainer script as well. All right. Now, eventually you're going to change the script to meet how you talk and what you do. All right. So keep that in mind because I don't want you talking like a robot. I, and you I like to, stand up desk. I, I'm very yeah. good on my feet stand, talking. Yes. Yep. So, first thing is getting information about the property. Okay. All right. Getting info. So, getting info is about the property as well as about the homeowner. Why do okay. they want to sell? Do they really want to sell? Um, you know, figure out their timeline, figure out, uh, figure out everything that they need. All right. Okay. And how, and the thing is, is that what you want to do and nobody's talking about this. I'll tell you this right now. Yeah. Okay. You want to disqualify them. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? You want to go through every aspect and disqualify them. Give them every reason not to go with you. What I mean by that is I'm not saying push them away and do all that, but you also don't want to be the one pushing them towards you either. Okay. 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 So I'll give you an example. Okay. I, there's a house that only needs cosmetic work. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Seller, you know, I, I, I see just by based on what you said, you know, um, obviously you got the info, so you got the price. They might be priced a little bit too high. Okay. 
So is there any reason why, you know, you might not want to put this on the MLS or, or put this with an, go with an agent and, and, and try to sell it that way? You know, ask him the, those questions. Okay. Well, I don't want people walking through my, my property and blah, 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 this, that. And you'd be upfront with them. Hey, I might not be your highest offer because, you know, like I'm not an end buyer. I, what I mean by say, I'm not a retail buyer. I'm an investor. Obviously, we got to make money. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. When you when you tell them that you're an investor, they obviously know you're going to have to make money. Okay. So by saying all of this, you can judge where they're at and, you know, you're 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 prompting them for your I don't want to call it a low ball offer, but your realistic offer. Okay. Call it a realistic offer because the thing is is that you know and if if we're too far apart i even sometimes say i i really don't want to insult you with my offer it's I, it's far away from what you did i mean if you really want me to tell you i'll tell you but we are kind of far apart and a lot of times well just tell me what it is tell me what it is okay and so i tell them and be like yeah, I know I, I didn't want to really insult you like that, but I'd have to be, you know, and I'm 50 grand or 20 grand underneath what they, they wanted, whatever the case may be. Okay? okay. And I go, and I'm going based off of what you said. I'm going, and then I, I, I um, but before I even give the offer, I also try to bring up, this is what I'm seeing of prong comps in the neighborhood. You know what? You know, it looks like the price you're asking, you know, that's a pretty fair price. Unfortunately, it's pretty fair for retail price. Okay. Okay. You know, and yeah. so all these things you're bringing up, you're, you're prompting them. Okay. You're prompting them. I now I'm not saying that you have to do that with everyone because some people are, are there. Some people have realistic numbers. Okay. Um, so you got to really play it by ear. And that's one thing you, you got to understand is, is that by disqualifying them, okay, you don't want to spend too much time on them. Right. Right. All right. Okay. Now what you can do is I'm not saying get rid of that lead. Okay. okay? What I'm saying is, is say, Hey, you know, I see you're here. It, do, do you mind if I follow back up with you? When, when when are you looking to find out their timeline? Okay. And whatever their timeline is, cut it in half and then follow back up with them. Okay. Okay. For instance, if their timeline is four weeks, oh yeah, you know what? I already sold that property. We're under contract and blah, blah. Oh, you're under contract? Oh, did you guys already close yet? No, no, we're scheduled to close in about four weeks. Okay, great. You know what? How about I follow up with you? Follow up with them in about two weeks. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, I noticed that uh, I, last time we talked, this is where a good CRM comes in where you're putting in notes. Okay. So um, okay. you're putting right. in notes when you're calling them. Now, you don't need a CRM to do that. You can do that in Excel. Okay. Okay. You can use Excel by all means okay. in the beginning. All right. But you come up, hey, last time we talked, we uh, uh, you were set to close on the property. I'm just curious if you're still on track or, or you know, is that buyer still buying a property? You know, oh, yeah, yeah, we're still close. You know, we're still on schedule or no, we got a hiccup and, and we had to drop out and blah, 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 this, that. Okay. And, and now you can jump in. And because you, you think that pass? you think what's that it does happen to you oh yeah oh great okay good All yeah right. that does happen because the thing is is that think of it this way if somebody comes through and they buy it at a higher number or they get under contract for a too high of a number and then they can't find a buyer because say it's another wholesaler okay it's going to drop out of contract right they're not going right. to they're not going to do anything Right now, you come in here, and they got a distaste in their mouth. And they're like, "I just want to get rid of it." 
you know, okay. give me X amount and it's yours. Right. Okay. And you're like, you know what? In order for me to make it work, these are my numbers. This is, you know, kind of, you know, I didn't get a chance to give you the offer last time because you said you already had it sold, you know. Okay. But, you know, so on and so forth and run your numbers. All right. Don't ever try to stretch the number. As soon as you try to stretch the numbers, okay, you always lose. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 